think I think we are live. Hi friends. Um, I think we're I think we're live. <laughs> if you're out there, if you can go ahead and say hi, let me know um, that you can hear me and that I'm live. <laughs> um, hi, I am Lindsay for Swing Design. Um, I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. Um, every or every other Tuesday. Um, I come live on the channel and um, do a fun little crafting project um, featuring some of the stuff that you can find on our website. Um, so if you want to check out some cutting machines or heat presses, um, that is what I'm going to be using. Um, specifically, the uh, Scan and Cut DX. Um, we have the 125 and the 85. And I'm using the 125, but you can use either for the project. Um, and the project, of course, is um, faux leather earrings, which I think are perfect for the DX machines. Oh my gosh, they are so easy because of the auto blade. So I'm going to show you that. And oh, we got Michelle from Maine. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> um, so we are just going to go ahead and get started. I am going to hop on over to the um, computer here and I'll show you my screen because um, I already have Brother Canvas Workspace open. So that is um, Brother's um, design studio or you know, design software. But if you're using a Cricut, if you're using um, a Silhouette, uh, you can use um, you know, designs um, and cut them out um, just you know, very, very similarly. So let's go ahead and switch the screen view. Give me just a second here. Here we go. All right, so um, we're making some earrings and um, I've already opened up the file here. So, and then um, there's also these uh, cards that you can make for them too. So um, I actually made a bunch of these for my little nieces and um, you know, hung them up and it was a cute little gift. But you know, if this is your business, then um, you know, these cards are a great um, thing to cut out of cardstock. Um, so here I have the design and I got this into um, uh, Canvas Workspace through this button here, in, import from your computer. And um, I found the design I was working for or working with, which is this classic earrings set. And what's really cool is that this one had um, the option for holes and no holes. I chose no holes and I'll show you why. And what no holes means is that at the top of the earring here, there's not going to be a little hole. So I will show you what you do uh, when you're putting together the earring mechanism um, um, if you haven't cut out the hole. Um, and I prefer to do it this way because I think it comes out cleaner. Um, the hole is just so darn small that, um, you know, even with the sharpest blade, it can be... Um, you know, a little difficult to get that, um, you know, just, um, you know, perfectly cut. So to transfer it over to the machine, you just go to file export and um, you can export via the internet or if you have your machine hooked up via the uh, USB cable. And so it's going to send it over to the machine. Now, before we actually start cutting, though, I do want to show you what I like to do to kind of just add a little bit extra to the project. So this is not necessary, but after you, um, the faux leather that I'm using, it's this really cool, like um, red, white, and blue. This has got stars on it, stars and stripes. Um, and faux leather comes in, gosh, so many different varieties. You can find whatever works well, you know, whatever you want for any occasion. And um, on the back here, it's just like a soft um, material. So if you want to hide this, one way I like to do that is to actually put HTV on the back. So I made these earrings earlier. I should, oh, I should have worn them. <laughs> Um, so, uh, oh, there's the back. So there's the front of the leather. And so what I did on the back is I put HTV on the back. So, um, it's really easy to do that. And then it just really finish, you know, gives a nice clean finish to the back. You don't see that soft backing. Of course it's optional. Um, but it does give you more design possibilities because for this set, I am going to do some glitter HTV. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be sparkly on the back. So, um, let me go ahead and flip the camera down to my workspace and you can, I can show you a couple different ways to do that. So let's actually flip it this way. 
to that. I think it's pretty good. Okay, so um, uh, for the first set, for these here, I used the Cricut Mini Press, um, which uh, worked perfectly. I used um, Caesar um, Easy Weed HCV, um, and I just used the lowest setting um, and went over that, peeled off the carrier sheet. Now I am going to do it with my heat press, um, and it's just, um, you know, maybe less. Either way works perfectly, but uh, this, I'm, you could do a lot, lot more in such a short amount of time. So I've already cut the pieces. This is the faux leather. This is the glitter HTV, and I'm going to put the glitter HTV um, with the carrier, side, carrier sheet side facing up. Put that on to, um, I have a pressing pillow here. Um, not necessary, but, uh, you know, I have it, so why not? Now I am gonna cover this with um, a piece of parchment paper. You could use your Teflon sheet. And then normally for glitter HTV, you would wanna press it uh, at glitter for Caesar Easy, or for glitter, Caesar HTV is 320. Um, but this faux leather is just, you know, a synthetic material. Um, it's not going to um, need the necessary amount of uh, pressure and, or, you know, uh, heat to get it to stick. Plus, this is not going through the washer and dryer. So I'm just going to keep it at 305, um, which I have here. If I wanted to adjust it, I could do that. Um, so 305, and I'm only going to press it for maybe like 10 seconds. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And I got the counter down here so it can count down and let me know. Um, this is the Starcraft um, Mint heat press, which I really like. All right, so that has come off. And then we can go ahead and peel off the carrier sheet. Ha-ha, perfect. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so now I've got the faux leather in the front and the glitter HDV in the back. So um, just because it's really hot in here, I'm going to turn this off and then go back to um, my workspace right down here to show you the uh, scan and cut. There she is. Okay. And so we already previously... Trans sorry, I'm shaking around here. There we go. There we go. All right, so I already transferred that design over to the machine. So it's sitting in here waiting for us. Um, you can also transfer designs um, via um, USB um, st like memory stick. Um, there's a port on the side here that if you have a design saved on that memory stick, you can plug it in and pull it up that way. So to retrieve those designs, however you transferred it over there, um, you go to retrieve data. Um, I'm selecting transfer via internet. And this is always a little bit difficult to see, but I can see it just, just fine. So I know um, that you'll just have to take my word on it. Um, it's a little hard to see on camera, um, but we had transferred that um, uh, the the card that uh, not just the earrings but also the card um, and I don't want to cut that right now so I can actually do edits right on my machine here um, so I'm going to select it and um, tap the trash can icon and it's just going to take that off now if I wanted to do any other edits make them bigger you know um, mirror them uh, there's you know things that you can do here but this is actually perfect um, I do need to load up the mat. So I've got that little piece that we just used or, you know, that we just put the glitter HTV on. Oh, hi, Ramonda and Melody from Wisconsin. New to your page. Well, welcome and thanks for being here. We are um, doing these faux leather earrings and uh, I'm just gonna line it up with the glitter side facing down and then just be aware that there's a little bit of, of 
the glitter doesn't go all the way up to the top. So I'll just know that I'll, I'll want to place the design accordingly so it'll cut. Now this is a well-loved mat. So I'm going to just use some uh, painter's tape. This is like a low tack painter's tape that will hold this in place while it's cutting because that's especially important. Um, but if you had a brand new mat or if your mat um, was really sticky, then you might not need this painter's tape, but I like to use it as just a safety net. Make sure nothing shifts around here. Okay, here we go. All right, now I can load it into the machine. Now, one of the reasons why I think that doing faux leather earrings, especially with the HTV on the back, is because you've got the auto blade here. So the auto blade, uh, basically just the technology will sense how thick the material is and cut it um, by just automatically sensing that, that thickness. So you don't have to do any, you know, manually select any settings if you don't want to. So let's put that blade in there. Um, and then let's go back to the screen here. I think that is, is, um, fine. There's other things that you can do with um, the scan and cut. You could draw, emboss, foil, glue, pierce, lots of other things. But we're cutting today. And uh, there's a feature called half cut, which is turned off. That uh, the half cut feature would be if I was cutting vinyl or HTV and I would only want to cut through the vinyl and not the actual backing. Um, but these earrings, I want to cut through the whole darn thing. So let's just uh, make sure half cut is turned off. Um, I keep the, the speed at one. That seems to work well for me. If you want to crank up the speed, go right ahead. But I've always had good results with the speed at one. So, um, and then the pressure is set to auto. If I wanted to manipulate the cut settings, I could on here. Um, but no, I, I, uh, I trust I trust you that you're gonna do it. And I have proof, sorry, I already did one earlier. So um, if you needed to do a test cut, you could do that here as well. So let's, okay, enough chit chat, let's press start and get that going. All right, so these are the ones I did earlier. And um, the machine is now cutting. So, um, it had initially estimated that this job was going to take one minute, um, but then um, the blade will then do its sensing thing, and it up it updated to two minutes. The job is two minutes to complete because it um, realized that this was a thicker thicker material, and it's probably going to have to go over it twice. So that's what it's doing now. It went over it once, now it's going over it again. Um, and it did the same thing with these two. So uh, for the faux leather earrings, obviously you'll want the faux leather, but also the earring um, portion as well. I decided to add this little charm there, which is totally not necessary, but just that I thought that was really fun. And adding, I just really love adding that HTV on the back. I think it's just, you know, finishes it nicely. So if you're wearing this um, and it flips over, then um, you got you got it covered. All right, so um, I am just going to test this. I'm pretty sure it cut. Oh yeah, look at that. Just lifts right up. So let's go ahead and un load the mat yeah see so look at that look how cleanly it cut too it's just the edges are just nice and sharp um we have that middle portion pop out which you can make this into an earring too so for like these ones 
you have that teardrop shape, the negative space. Um, you could totally make this into an earring too. Um, same with this little one. And you just pull that out. There's a little bit of that painter's tape on the top there, but you can just peel easily peel that off. It's not going to stick. Here we go. Okay. And then I want to show you how how this cut it, it cut it out. It's the these points are. I'm gonna have to adjust the focus a little bit. So give me just a second. Sorry, here we go. But there we go. We are nice and focused right up close. Look at that. It cuts it so cleanly. And then the back, there's the front and the back. I love that. I think it just turns out so lovely. Um, you get a nice sharp point on the bottoms there. And, um, you know, you just have even more possibilities. You could do holographic. Um, HTV metallic oh gosh so many possibilities but um, that is the faux leather part um, and HTV on the back um, now you got to put the put them together so let me sorry go ahead and refocus this to here so we chose the design that did not have the hole cut in the top um, purposely did that um, because what we're gonna do is actually mark where we want that with our sharpie and um, let's just um, you want it kind of like it right in the middle right there okay oh and D um, is asking where's the best place to order faux leather from this faux leather I purchased off Amazon um, there were a lot of different choices there so um, I would I would check out Amazon um, Cricut also has their own brand of faux leather that's really nice too um, that I've worked a lot with the, the faux earrings faux leather earrings before all right so I've marked with the sharpie just on the back um, where I want the hole to be and I'm going to use this um, hole puncher I think this is a sixteenth of an inch and then I'll just line this up and just punch the hole through and you get a really clean clean um, hole for your jewelry to go through I think it comes out much much cleaner than um, if the machine had cut it because the the hole is just so small um, and you're cutting through material that's so thick that um, this hole punch perfect all right so there is a right side up and down to these so yeah the point goes down so make sure I'm getting the right orientation plus I already marked it so I know where I should cut or punch rather. All right, so we punched that. And then we've got the uh, actual earrings themselves. They'll, these will be um, these fish hook earrings. Um, so I'm going to take out a couple of these. This set I also got on Amazon as well. Um, and you'll need some jewelry making tools. And oh hi Melissa. Oh how 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 are you doing this morning? Um we are just finishing up these earrings and of course I want to add just a little bit extra to them. I found these these um charms at the craft store. So I am going to add those. So what I'll do is take a large jump ring. They come in different um, different sizes. So this one's a little bit larger. And I will open that up. You use these 
jewelry pliers. And then what we'll do is we'll slide on the actual earring, just like that. Then I am going to put on this little jewel, this little charm. Cute. And then um, on the back, I'm going to put the, the fish hook earring as well. And then you just take your jewelry pliers and close up that jump ring. And then it will be finished here. All right. There we go. I have that little, I'll bring this up and then refocus it so you can see. Have that little tiny jewel there. So cute, just adds a little bit extra to the earring. I did the same thing with these ones earlier, but this one is just much bigger. So again, lots of different options that you can do and the Scan and Cut DX series just cuts it out so nicely. Lovely, lovely. So if you like these earring designs, um, there's a whole um, bundle of them um, that I've linked to in the description of the video so you can check those out as well as the earring cards. So if you want to make those um, at a card stock then you can display these really nicely. Um, so those are in the description and um, as well as um, some of the other products that I've used, the HTV, um, the cutting machines. Uh, I used a heat press to apply the glitter HTV but the Cricut mini press to apply the Caesar um, each easy weed on the back of this so you can do either of that those ways um, and then there you go and of course I'd want to finish the other one to have two of those but pretty darn quick and easy so um, that's all I had for today I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can just say a quick goodbye and of course if you have any questions um, please, please, woo, we're going on a wild ride. Here we are. Uh, there we go. Yes, and of course, if you have any questions, um, please let us know. We're always happy to help. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy crafting, my friends. Bye.